This is Earth Radio. And now here's human music. Just arrived at Sellers Park for Arsenal versus Crystal Palace. The teams are out. It's exactly the same teams that played against Southampton the other day that lost 3-1. Kabai is fit, which is great news. Um, St Allardyce literally fooled the Palace fans with that one because we all thought Kabai was out. That's really good news that he's playing. Um, this is the first time that I've ever done a vlog where I've done the other match. So if you look back at my other vlogs, you'll see that I went to this fixture, Arsenal Palace, at the Emirates. So have a look back if you didn't watch that one. It's not even got 200 views yet. Didn't do very well. It was my early, early days of vlogging. I think it was my first ever vlog. I'm going to head into the ground now, so uh, let's see what's going on inside. Here tonight, we're in the lead against Arsenal. Bit Cameron, you'll go first. Ten years old. Uh, what position do you play? So half time, we're one up against Arsenal. I did not see this coming in a million years. Same team that started against Southampton, a one up at half time, which we failed to do against Southampton. And Sacco for me so far. I mean, I'm not watching Sky, obviously, I bet they're raving about him as man of the match. What do you think, Bob? I cannot believe that we've taken Arsenal on and we look the better team. The only two players who look like Arsenal players are Sanchez and Ozil. The rest just look ordinary and shocked. I just hope we can keep it going and get what we deserve. Because at the moment, we deserve being in the lead. Played our day in the second half and we deserve a win. I'm just enjoying every moment and Sky must love it. Fitness will come into this. We were knackered second half against Southampton and they were quicker to every ball. So Arsenal can change it with their bench. I don't really think we can change it with our bench. So we've got to dig in now for another 45 minutes and try and get three points. Three points tonight would be amazing and put us halfway to being safe, I think. 
Oh, I do hope Allardyce doesn't do what he's been doing recently and do something like take off Townsend, bring on Delaney and sit on a 1-0 lead. I hope we go for it. I really hope we go for it. And um, fingers crossed.
believe it. Say, better than Wednesday, that's for sure. Better than going up against Saints who play against Southampton, uh, just won 3 0. Shows out, shit. Can't swear, got kids here. <laughs> <laughs> How bad Arsenal <Arsene> were. <laughs> no, we totally outplayed them. 3-0 flatters them and even their fans were singing they're not fit to wear the shirt yep. we were singing we love Arsene Wenger it's going to be a happy car tonight <laughs> we want to stay <laughs> we want you to stay oh Arsene Wenger we want you to stay I'm going home to watch all 90 minutes again on Sky <laughs> and to see what uh, Neville Carragher and Ranieri have got to say about that and please give man the match to Sacco Sacco's got to get man of the match ok I've heard a rumour that Ranieri's in the studio as he's being interviewed by Arsenal tomorrow <laughs> ooh scoop can you believe that Right, I could be making this up, but I promise you I'm not making it up. I got to the game today, there was no one in the stadium, and I saw this man, right? And I said to him, what do you reckon the score's going to be today? Do you know what he said to me? He said, Crystal Palace are going to win today, 3-0, right? I laughed and said, no, 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 I didn't even get the camera out, because normally I do predictions. I thought, it's not even worth him saying 3-0, but honestly, on my life, this man predicted 3-0, but he can't bet on it because he's a member of staff at the club, so official betting rules apply. Have I, have I got a plant coming out of my head? That was pretty cool, didn't it? That was, that was, uh, that was pretty nice. Anyway, congratulations, you won 3-0. I can't believe it. Can you believe the score? Well, you can believe the score. I can believe the score because I predicted it. As soon as we got that penalty ran past, everyone was like, it's going to be free. So. Were you behind the goal for any of the pitches in the second half? I was. Can't wait to see them. It'd be amazing. Oh, watch them back. They're on the telly now. They're on the telly. Okay, here's scoop time. We've got Huffy here, the photographer. Got a few pictures from the game. Fresh. Here we go. Yes. That's the penalty. Great ones, mate. All smiles. He's not bad for nine pound fifty an hour. This guy does weddings, bar mitzvahs, the odd rock concert. That's good. I like it. Did you ever think we'd be leaving Sellers Park with three points and three goals and a clean sheet? I've got to be perfectly honest, no. I would have took a draw before the game started. Yeah, me too. But uh, we were magnificent. We're getting the plaudits now. But with your sensible head on, we need to keep calm and start again on Saturday. We're Crystal Palace. Yes, we'll love the next 24 hours, but we start again on Saturday. We've got to make sure that the last two games of the season, we don't need a win to stay up. Oh, Simple too right, too right. I think we needed, before today, two wins to stay up. We've got one of them against Arsenal. And we've still got Leicester to play, Burnley to play, Hull to play. So I think we are halfway safe and I'm a, a happy bunny. <laughs> I really, really wanted to find uh, Arsenal Fan TV at the end of the match. Couldn't find them. They must be um, uh, hiding somewhere, but that would have been a right laugh. The difference between me and Arsenal Fan TV is probably about 400,000 views, but <laughs> it would have been nice to find them. Cheers for watching the vlog. Palace win 3 0. I'm sure lots of Palace fans would have found this vlog. Probably not many Arsenal fans would be interested in watching it, but thanks very much for watching. I don't know if I'm going to be at Leicester City or not on Saturday, but if I am, you'll be the first to know about it. Good night.